Who's up for some late night jewelry talk? What time is it? 11 o'clock? Boy, it is late. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Amanda Parrott is here. I'm so glad you're here, guys. I have a new room set up. Well, it's my room, but I put new flooring. So if you hear an echo, that um, may be a little bit of a nuisance, uh, annoying rather. Let me know, I am trying to fill the room back up, but I have had such a stressful day. But you know what, it's the kind of stress. I don't know how many of you guys work in high pressure jobs where you're, you know, you have timetables and you have compliance and you have everyone telling you what to do it and how to do it and when to do it. And then when you do it and you thought you couldn't do it and you do it, it feels so good. I was thinking about it today and I was thinking, it's almost like, I mean, I really, cause I've never done this, these types of meetings and, and compliance issues. And when I did it, I've been reading um, books about, you know, positive thinking and energy and all of that. And I just got tired of being stressed about it and thinking, I can't do this. I won't be able to say the right thing. I won't be able to do the right thing. And then I did it and it was done. I didn't have lunch because <laughs> I was running from one side of Houston to the other with no thrifting in between. Very, very depressing when you can't do that. But it, I likened it to giving birth. I, those of you who have given birth know exactly what I mean. You give birth, you're in pain. So most excruciating pain, no one will ever understand until they do it. But then when it's all over and done with, not only do you have a beautiful baby to look at and love and adore, but you almost feel like a superwoman. Like you're the only person in the entire world who has ever done this feat. I don't know if you feel that way, but that's the way I felt. And I, <laughs> I've had a few people say the same thing about about that when you when you give birth but i know it's a little exaggerated but that's just kind of the way i felt today but we are going to open a jar and we're going to forget all about my worries at work and they're done and on monday i'll face the same thing again but it'll be <laughs> i'm already on the home stretch i've already done it you know so it's good so you heart teacher too oh you are barbara well good luck for you i know you've earned it I know you have earned that retirement. I wish I could. I, um, I started teaching late as my second career, but I want to put in at least another five years if I can, if God's willing. I will do that. Guys, there's 25 people watching, but only one thumbs up. That has to be, that has to be a glitch. I know you guys went over there and gave me a thumbs up as soon as you walked in the door. Another thing, guys, this table may be a little bit noisy because I don't have all my padding around it. I usually have like a little desk calendar thing underneath this. So this jewelry may be a little bit ASMR. Let me see who's in the chat and then we'll get started. This is a huge $50 bag. I don't know how long I've had it. Yeah, $49.99. I did get a little discount on it, but they are high. So it may take a while. I am powered up. I am plugged in and I may go a little bit closer. Let me see if I can put this down a little bit without going too crooked and then still being able to read the chat. Okay, so let's get started. But oh yeah, I was gonna say hello to people. Shiny Jewels is here, Amanda Parrott, Juanita, Jennifer Hayes, Deb's Treasures. Wow, are you kidding me, Deb's 48 years? She must have been happy. That is awesome because a lot of teachers move around a lot. And, uh, you know, new admin comes in and people aren't always happy with that. So that's fabulous that she was able to stay that long. So let me see who else. Juana as well is here. Pamela, Drain, Sarah, Tansy. And uh, let me see. Well, guys... Our night owls are in the house. Susie Dominguez, <laughs> Kelly Murphy, Kelly's here, Melissa Dietrich, and I think that's it. So anybody else, I hope that a few people will come in, but uh, if not, it's okay. We'll take a look and see what's in this bag. I hope it's something good. I'm going to think positive. <laughs> the power of positive thinking. There's going to be something great in this bag. 
or more, but it is gonna be a noisy bag because like I said, I don't have padding down on this table. I'm just now moving everything back in the room. I put in some wood floors in here after way too many years of, a, of an outdated carpet. Not only was it um, worn, but it, the color was totally 80s, 90s. Ooh, this is pretty. It is an expandable stretch, but it is pretty. I like it. It's a nice color. I didn't even do my nails. That's how anxious I was to do something else. I was going to do them, and I said, I'll do them later, and then I didn't get to do them, and so I'll do them tonight. They'll be pretty tomorrow. That's a pretty bracelet. I like it. It's different. With a nice cleaning, that would look really pretty. It's got almost dusty on it. Feels almost dusty. Here's a plastic bangle. Understanding the MSP auction. Well, you just need to um, email the um, auctioneer, who's Dwayne. You can email him. Um, I think he puts all the information right there in the description when you when you get there. Email him your real name, your PayPal name, and all that good stuff. This is cute, and it still had a tag. Bam. Well, that's good. That may be an omen. I like it. It's very graphic comic book that is too cute it's big on me but it's so cute I've never seen anything like that oh my goodness that's okay <laughs> that's okay don't worry about it things happen typos happen okay a little mesh looking but it's not it's just kind of textured and everything an earring so I'm hoping we get the match to that Oh, this is a cute little coil bracelet. I like the colors on it. They even put little dangles on it. It's nice. I like when they make them small too, because, let's see if I can slip that on. You really have to slip it on because it's got quite a few coils. Look at that. When they're too big and coiled, they don't look nice when they don't fit. Okay, we have some, oh wow, Shira, $27, that's cute, Shira Lay or Leah, Aaliyah, Shira Leah, jewelry, new as well, it's got the little tassel number going on, that's interesting, it is adjustable, okay. Boy, there's a lot of different stuff going on in, in jewelry lately, don't you think, guys? I was, I've been wanting to go over to, oh, this has a tag on it, too, to um, Nordstrom's and peruse the jewelry aisle. I may do that sometime next week before I get too busy with summer. Oh, it's missing some stones. This is interesting, though. What did they have on this? 66, I don't know, 16, I can't tell. It's a cute comb, heavy though. I guess you can't really tell there's anything missing. It's so embellished. It's hard to tell if there's anything missing at all. Okay, this is uh, faux leather and it's a wraparound bracelet be humble thinking of others is better than yourselves don't look out for your own intro <laughs> wow it's a text it's a whole paragraph here but take an interest in others too now we have rhinestones it could be a choker but yeah it could be a choker but it's kind of crooked i think it would be better as a bracelet but i think it is a necklace because of that extender Look at that, though. It's even got a little embellishment on the, on the clasp. A nice cross with very pretty AB stones. And then, um, yeah, Deb, go ahead and do that. And you can also probably put his link in there, too, since you, you have a wrench. This one says 2013 Prey. I think it says Prey. 
or P-R-E-M-T-G, something like that. I really like the cross. It's a pretty cross. It's kind of cool. Guys, those of you who are in my Facebook, I am having an auction tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Central. So be sure and join me. I'm going to try to take some pictures in the morning of um, some of the things that I'm going to have. But I always bring in things that, you know, at the last minute, you just never know what I'm going to bring in. That's pretty. This one has the missing hook, but that's nothing. Not a problem. Hi, Ann. How are you? We just got here. Don't you worry about it. We just got here. I'm just checking out my new lighting, I think. See, I moved my table to face my... I have like a Tudor-style house, so that's got like a little Harlequin window. And I think if I let in some natural light, I'll, I'll actually have better lighting as well in the daytime. But there's still an echo. You can probably hear it, huh? I've got to bring in other things. I'm also getting a new bed. So I got rid of my bed. I have no bed. I have to get a new one. Wow, look at that barrette. That looks really old. It's actually got some gunk right here. But the, the rhinestones are prong set. So I may have to quarantine this one until I get it uh, cleaned up because it's got verdigris as well. But those might not be a bad harvest. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have some purple earrings. These are cute. They have leopard print. Oh, good, good, thank you. I do have, can you guys, oh, I'll show it to you when we get off. I have a cute little carpet in here now because I had that wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Now I have wood floors. So I put a really cute rug that I have. It's from Pottery Barn Kids and it's a lion. I think I've put pictures of it in my Facebook years ago because I used it in my classroom one year. It's really cute. It looks like a lion skin, but oh, it's so cute. <laughs> of course it's not. All right, this is an anklet, I think. This is also a good harvest piece. Prong set. A couple of pieces missing. A couple of stones missing. How does this open, though? This is so funny. I don't know. It doesn't really stretch. That's interesting. I like these. These look like those Guatemalan beads or something. They're basket. Or what do you call it? Wicker, I guess. Woven in some way. Is that hair? No, that's like, uh, it's not hair. It's like from yarn or something. Oh, well. Anyway, these beads are super cute. Look, they're fruit. Oh, my gosh. They're strawberries and beads. And there's a lemon in there. <laughs> and a carrot. Oh, wow. Hi, Adam. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much, Adam. Guys, Adam has great videos as well. Be sure and subscribe to him. A lot of people in the chat do content. Adam is one of them. Great interviews. I really enjoy them. And I think he even had, I haven't watched it yet, Adam, but I saw the, the thumbnail. But I'm going to go back and watch you interview um, Rockstar Flipper. That's awesome. I know you guys are buddies. Look at the grapes. Are they not cute? Oh my gosh, I would so wear this. I don't know where, but I think I'll wear it to the last day of work. Uh, June 3rd. Yeah, I think I'll ring in the summer with a fruit necklace. <laughs> it's so cute. I think that's a, a, what is that? A lime or a pear? That is darling. And the fruit is like right in the front. There's a lemon, and then the rest are beets. Isn't it bonito? Muy bonito. Gracias. Let me see who else is in there. Crisaldo Flores. And I think I said hello to Juana. I like these two guys. I think they also need the hook. Wow, they're pretty, though. I love the way they did different beads on both sides. Like they're a different color, even. Whoa, <laughs> see the noise? It fell right on the glass. Oh my goodness, it could be an ASMR, ASMR video too. This is cute. Kind of a topaz colored there. That's a cute earring. And wow, look at this one. 
How pretty is that earring? I'm gonna put this one aside where I can find it real fast if I find the, the mate to it. Here's a peacock feather earring. That's pretty too. Look, it's even got a little embellishment there on the cap. Pretty. Oh, nice. I was eyeing that gecko that uh, Sandy was auctioning off today. And look at this one. This one's cute. I sell these pretty quick. Look, he's got green eyes. This is a lizard, I believe. And he's got rhinestones all over his body. And I don't see any missing, but again, he's darling. Yeah, I think they're all there. Look at the green eyes. Super cute. Well made, too. It feels really nice and substantial. Well, that's nice. That's starting to look good. Here's some cute earrings with a key and a little dangle bead there. Cool. Okay. This is, there's some interesting jewelry in here, I'll tell you. Here's a magnet clasp. This looks like a belt. I mean, I don't know how you could wear that. This has to be a belt. I don't think it would lay on the, on the neck very well. It looks like a costume embellishment for sure. Some kind of folkloric costume or something. Hi, Judy. Thanks for being here. Yeah, kind of cool. All right. Ooh, look at these. Lamp work. Foam. I, fi I was going to say, finally learned the term for this type of glass. I kept finding them. And people kept telling me, it's lamp work, it's lamp work. And two weeks later, I'd forget what it was. These are darling. They are such a pretty color combo. Get all these blues and some dichroic glass here too. A little lamp work there. Oh my goodness. And all I ever see is bracelets. I rarely see the necklaces. That's really pretty. It's like a choker size too. So wow, I love it. It's so playful and whimsical, don't you think? I like it. Hey Amanda Hall, how are you? Hey Mike, how are you? I'm glad you're here. I love this. This is cool. All right, it's really starting to look good now. Another one of these crazy things, though. I don't know what this is. This is so funny. Because, well, maybe you could roll it around three times and it would be a bracelet. But I think it would look good as a belt if I had a 22 inch waist, maybe. 18, 20. Never, that might fit my thigh. Hi, Kathleen, I'm glad you're here. Okay, let me see what else is here. Bright, what does this say? Andalusia. Isn't that in Italy? Andalusia? I th isn't that a city in Italy? This is like a locket key ring. Let's see what's in it. Andalusia, I really think that's in Italy. Oh, that's cute. It is, it's a mirror and a locket. And it's a key ring. 2008, Andalusia. That's cool. Hmm, very heavy too. Super shiny too, you can see all the reflection of my lights and everything. Sorry for the noise, guys. I haven't put down all of my table stuff. Oh, this is pretty. I love the ivory colored beads. I don't think it's ivory. It does have a barrel clasp. I'll have to look at it with my loop. I didn't even bring my loop. Just put my net, my magnet. It doesn't look like ivory though, I don't see. And it really doesn't feel like it either. But it's super cute. Oh, I didn't show you this. Sometimes these are sterling. Sometimes they're not. Let me check it out. Let me look at it a little closer. Okay, and this unscrews here so you can stick your pendant in. Interesting. 
Might be a copper base though, just because it doesn't stick doesn't mean it's sterling, but we'll investigate further. Interesting cable, a little earring. This looks like sterling. It's a pretty design. Interesting color inside there too. Okay, let me see who's in the chat. Oh, I should go to the garage sales. I just want to sleep. <laughs> I just want to sleep. Plus, you know, I feel like some of the garage sales are really good, like on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And on the way to work, I pass some really nice neighborhoods that have the garage sales. But I'm not willing to go in late to work to go to a garage sale. I should, though. Once in a while, you got to break the rules, right? Go in late. See if you can get away with it. <laughs> I don't have a classroom waiting for me anyway, so mine is all scheduled out. Okay. Ooh, I like the noise this one makes. I like the sound of that. It's a little necklace. Cute. These are plastic and these are metal. So they're cute. Black and kind of a gunmetal color all around. Even the discs are. And they have sort of a hammered look. Yeah, we should though. You know, we would probably have some tomorrow. The weather is already in the 80s. I think it even hit 90 today. But we had a little bit of rain last week. We had horrible weather last week. So I bet a lot of people cancel. Well, it's a little tangled, guys, but you get the gist. They kind of just dangle there in the front. But I bet a lot of people canceled their garage sales last week, and they'll probably have them this week. Kimberly Borderline Hoarderish. I indeed know Miss Kim. How are you, Kimmy? May I call you Kimmy? <laughs> I hear everybody else calling you Kimmy. Yes, I know her, and I've been watching her show too. Her Monday motivation. But I don't always watch all of it because I usually watch it during lunch. So I catch it here and there, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. This is broken, guys, and what a shame. I know I can just hook it because this is a well-made pearl necklace. Look at that. It graduates. It has gold bead spacers, kind of seed bead size. So I really like it. And it's really a nice hefty weight. Still lots of luster to it. Very cute. All right, I was curious about this silver thing. When I saw it in the bag, I thought it was a stone. <laughs> it was buried in the bag. It's a piece of tin. It almost looks like the top of the the cat food or something was cut up and made into a heart. And I don't know if we'll have a match, but we'll put it aside. Let me see. Oh, these are cute. Wow. Look at these. These match that little fringe bracelet I found last time. Look at that. They're really kind of cute, though. Yep, shoulder dusters is what they are. Cute, cute, cute. Hey, Tracy, thanks for being here. That is Tracy at Uniquely Me there, guys. She's also started doing videos. And uh, boy, she's cute. She's a really pretty lady. And she makes really interesting videos. This is so cute. I love the color. I, want, I think it is copper. I think it's copper, and then they put gold plating. So that's pretty nice, because I see the gold plating kind of cut it, coming off, kind of fading. I would have preferred it to be copper. I will clean that up, though, with Simichrome, and it polishes the, usually polishes the coating off, you know, like two or three times. It works really nice. Oh, this is cute. It is abalone. And um, it's got some kind of painting on top, almost like a, I don't know, almost like a, a animal skin or like an animal print, maybe like a snake skin 
coloration. It's pretty cool. I saw this lady at our tollway this morning. She was wearing the most inter interesting earrings. It's funny the things you notice, right? But I noticed they were shell. Okay, the little thing is missing. They were shell like this on one side, but they were full, of course. And they were huge. And then on the other side, when she turned around, I could see the other side. And they looked like uh, Diana Ross when she had that big afro. And I asked her, is that Diana Ross on your earrings? And she said, I don't know. I said, it's either Diana Ross or that. Who was that lady that ran for president back in the 70s with the big afro? I forgot her name. I said, either way, they're super cool earrings. I love them. And she said, thank you. Oh, look at this, guys. This is all real stones. Real stones. Yep, they're nice and cold and pretty. And they've got a little mark here. What do they say? I can't read it. It's the one with the N. I know I've run into this one before. See it there. It's cute. This one does have a real hair in there. Yeah, these are nice. This will look pretty. This will look pretty as a bracelet, too. All right. Pendant. Craft lock. Here's a kind of a cuff. Looks like it's missing the part that's supposed to go there, though. Because I know this chain doesn't go there, and I don't want to pull on that chain. There it goes. Okay. Sometimes, I mean, it looks like it should have a chain or a piece of leather or something there. It's pretty, though. It's a nice bracelet. All right. We have a child's purple shiny bangle right there. We have a blue, not stretch. Wow, that's weird. It's not stretched. I don't know how you're going to put it on, though, because it doesn't open, but it's pretty. Hey, guys, if you haven't taken the time, go over there by the screen. You have to leave the chat for just a little while, but go over there and hit the thumbs up before you go to bed, okay? And I really appreciate you guys being here. Those of you who haven't subscribed, I hope you do it tonight. Sarah, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Jewelry and purses. Yes, I'm gonna have purses tomorrow at my auction too, guys. Look at this cute thing. This is, I think this is pink quartz and clear quartz, If, or is there one called calcium quartz? Because it looks milky, but the pink ones look pink. And it's got a T, what is that brand? I run into it a million times. I still don't remember. It's got a T. This is a pretty necklace, very long, kind of an antiqued gold, and it's double strand. This is cute. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that. These are like emerald cut, clear crystal, and then the, the pink ones. And then there's even some smoky, well, not smoky, but maybe champagne colored. That's really cute. Does anybody know what that T means? Hey, Dawn's channel and Misha. Guys, if I didn't say your name, it's not because I didn't want to, but I didn't see it. And I'm trying to get through the jewelry before we're into um, Saturday. Is it already Saturday? Oh, this is cute too, guys. Mother of Pearl on this one. Let me get it out of here first and then you can see it. Okay, look at that, but that's kind of odd. It doesn't, could this be one of those crazy necklaces that go around your shoulders or something? Look at that, that's kind of funny. But this is mother of pearl, very pretty little dangle there. But I don't know how you would, how, unless one of the strands fell off. But I don't think so. I think this goes, 
I don't know. Maybe it's a body necklace or something. You guys need to school me on it if you know, because I don't. Wow. Let me see who else popped in. Jennifer. This is nice. And um, who else did I miss? Say hi for me if I miss them, okay, guys? Vixen. Fairy Vixen. Oh, I got a match to these earrings. These are cute. They're different. They're little keys and little beads and little hearts. So we do get a match on those. Nice. And then we have some, see this is some kind of yarn or something that stuck there. This is a little homemade piece, I believe, because it's a little strung a little tight or something. But plastic and a little tiger eye, I mean cat eye. These are cute though, these are glass and the crystal ones, the clear ones are plastic. So this is a nice one to put in a crafter lot or a bead lot. That's another thing I'm gonna be offering soon is a bead lot over on my Facebook. Because I have some really pretty beads, including garnets and some semi-precious stuff that's come in. Did somebody say hello to June? Because I may have missed Jude. So if Jude is in there, hello. Or it could be another Jude, I don't know. Laura Lopez is there as well. Oh, these are cool. Look, they're like bamboo in a coral color. There she is. Hi, Jude. How are you? It's a late night long one, I think, Jude, because I missed you guys. <laughs> and I was stressed today, and this really relaxes me. <gasps> this is interesting. Look at that. I guess they're wood. Could they really be bamboo? No, I don't think so. I think they're just designed that way, but they're kind of cool. Well, look, they even have a little clasp. So that's good. You can twist them around about three times. That's a nice one. We have a Boy Scout. I forgot what they call that, but I know it goes on the tie. Oh, thank you, Jude. Let me see what else is in here. Another BAM, or is this one with, oh, look, this one says Zap. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, I got the bracelet that said what? The, the bracelet says BAM, and the necklace says ZAP. Oops, there went that necklace. It's cute, and these are tagged. Let me check it out. I like that thing it's tangled up in too. That's cute. Oh my goodness. These are cute. These are perfect for the Comic-Con crowd. And a ring in there too. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, now we got the tags in the mix too, y'all. I think I can get this out. I'm gonna cut it. And we got a, a gold tone ring with some really pretty crystals or something. Looks like a size eight or something. Fits on my thumb. Cute though. Okay, and here's the pretty little necklace that matches the crazy little bracelet. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, here's a cute earring too. And the bracelets match the earring. And this is the tangle I was interested in right here. So let me see if I can take this apart. There's an earring in there. Oh, that's a cute earring. Wow, that bead was in there. This is cute. I love these bib necklaces with the gold chains. I think, oh yeah, I did have one in 14 karat with the, um, the three colored 
gold that was really popular back in the 80s and 90s. And I sold it. I bought it at a pawn shop and I sold it, I think, on eBay. Or maybe I sold it to someone. I may have sold it to someone. This is really cool. Look at that. It's got blue and green beads there, and then blue and gold beads, and then green and gold beads there. This one is from Houston. I haven't showed you what I got in Chicago yet. I'll bring that in a couple of days. I did not buy any jars in Chicago. I bought individual pieces because I found that the jars had gone up and I didn't see, even though they were only $20, I didn't see, you know, anything really that caught my eye. And their bags, they pack them really loose, so you can really see inside their, their bags. Isn't this cute, though? Wow, I think this one's nice. Look at that. It's even got a little tassel on the dangle part, and it was $36 somewhere. Well, maybe 12 36 or 12 Maybe they reduced it. I don't know. Yeah, because they marked it. But wow, I like it. I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear that before I sell it. Cute. And this is an earring. This is pretty too. Really cute. Kind of a pearl and um, yeah, even the black ones look like hematite, faux or something, I'm not sure. I like the way they just kind of randomly put the other colors in there. That's cute. Okay, we did get a match on these earrings that match the bracelet. Cute, they're lightweight too. Roberta's in the house, Anne is here. Let me see who else came in. Dawn's channel, and um, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I know it's late, but um, what else do we have to do but sleep, right? Sleep's overrated sometimes, but I'll do it tomorrow. While everyone else goes to buy the bargains at the garage sales, I'll sleep in a little bit. That's kind of cute. I like that. All kinds of shapes. Look at that. Those beads are nice. It's interesting. They put some ceramic. This is ceramic too. Plastic. Plastic. And they're pretty. They got a nice color combo. I like those. All right, we did have this leather thing that popped out from the tangle. And there is a little Premier Designs. So I don't know what kind of pendant it had, but it's leather. Here's a silver looking chain. It looks like real silver. It looks like it's broken too. But it'll go into a scrap lot. Yeah, it is real silver. 925 there. A really skinny box chain. A rich patina on that too, but it is broken, so. These are glass. It's pretty. Got a nice stretch still left on it. Pretty colors. Bead lot. When the beads are that nice, I put them in a bead lot. This, this is really nice too. A little braided gold color. Oh, really, Linda? How fun. <laughs> Don't call it a dead pile. You'll get to it. Do a little bit at a time. You'll get to it. We all get overwhelmed sometimes. We did get the peacock feather match. These can be washed, guys. Don't be scared of feathers. Some people get really grossed out with everything. I feel like, why do you buy things if you get grossed out by everything? Or people who say, oh my gosh, what you don't know who could have gotten that when it's at the Goodwill. Really? Well, same people that go to other stores touch everything at the other stores too. Even when they're brand new and tagged, people are like, oh, really? You shop there? You guys get that when you tell people you shop at Goodwill? Or that you find things there? I, I'm very selective about who I tell because people say the weirdest things. Or I just think to myself, yeah, you're right. You're right, there's nothing at the Goodwill. Just leave it there for me. Okay, these are some beads that look really old. They look like rosary beads. 
Oh, they almost look sinister, don't you think? Look at that. They have like a weird, like somebody tied them there. Yep. That's right. Don't care. This is cute. I love white jewelry too. That is really cute. I like the shape of that too. They're even faceted. That's cute. All right, here is a watch. Wow, this watch is heavy. With some turquoise embellishment, faux turquoise. Let's see what brand that is. I can't read it, and I didn't bring my loop. Still in the other room, I have to bring everything in, guys. Maybe you guys can read it if I bring it up close. It's cute. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. This one says, uh, what does it say inside? That's interesting. It's got a, it's got like a little signature inside and maybe it says China. Yeah, there it is. It's upside down. It looked a lot more interesting upside down. It actually says China. <laughs> yeah, I, I just kind of chuckle when people say that. Or when I buy a lot of things like um, school supplies and, I mean, staplers and just all kinds of things that we need. And then people will be like, oh my gosh, I need to go get that. Where did you find it? Goodwill, really? You found that at the Goodwill? They have that? And they just, I mean, they're surprised by all the things you can find. They would never think of going there. So I'm like, oh, I'll go to Walmart. Go to Walmart, fight for parking. Wait in line. This is cute, guys. This is really cute. It looks vintage. I don't know what it is. It's cold. This is broken. Oh, what a bummer. Look at that. See, it's like glass or something. Hmm. Oh, what a shame. That is so cute. It's so pretty. Let me see if the... Nope, class doesn't say anything, but that was that would have been a beautiful find. It could be restrung, though. It could be restrung by someone who knows what they're doing. So I may put that in the beadlot as well, because those are pretty. Those might even be jet or something. This is cute. A little plastic expandable, multicolored. We have some white ones. Very cute. Graduated beads. These were nice too. Long rhinestones. And then here's another. These aren't vintage or anything, but they're pretty. Look at that pretty red stone. It's really shiny. That's nice. Another rhinestone. We have, okay, this is funny. These match. But this one's thin and this one's thick. Or thicker than that one. Can you see? It is so weird. And they're cute. These look like they would hurt because they're so heavy. And we have another. I think we had this one already, so it's a match. A kind of copper expandable there. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. And what is this? Oh, here's that earring, good. We did get a match on this pretty earring, the one I told you I was gonna put right next to the side there so I could find it quickly. This one's cute. These are cute, rather. Copper colored blue stones. That's nice that those matched up. All right, this has some wear, so I'll probably put that in a crafter lot, but it would have been a nice one. I like it, that snake looking stuff. Yeah, for the black one, Mike, I think that's what my husband had been doing with a lot of those bib style ones because those are really pretty beads. I wish I knew what they were. Look at this cute choker. This is actually kind of a tatting. 
pattern there. Really pretty. Let me give that to my daughter. She'd wear it. She'd wear it to the Renaissance festivals. And this is not stretch. Beat it. Let me get this over here. Love that fruit necklace. It's so cute. Oh, this is pretty. Look at those pretty beads. Those are metal. And this is glass. The crystal is glass as well. Some faux pearls. Look at that little fishnet over the pearl. This is cute. This is a cute piece. I like it. Very nice. Yeah, those are cute. I don't think you could twist them twice, but they, these are really pretty. Nice gold colored pearls too, faux pearls. That's a nice necklace. Okay. What is this? Some little skinny bangles. Hi, Angie Ford, how are you? And another skinny bangle. And this is a cute choker with crystal beads. This is pretty too, really pretty. Kind of citrine colored stones, some gunmetal colored beads as well, spacers. This is really nicely made. Okay, is this a charm bracelet? Charm necklace, what is this? Looks like a Betsy Johnson style. This is cute. Wait a second. Why is that on a hook? Okay, it doesn't go there. Maybe this was a keychain or a purse charm and somebody put it on a necklace. It's got the queen there, some puffy hearts, a locket heart. That's cute. That is a cute little purse charm, if that's what it was. But it looks nice on this chain, too. And the chain is really nice. I'll probably put another pendant on there, because I have some really pretty pendants that need nice chains. And then I'll probably put that in a crafter lot, because that's kind of cute to put in a crafter lot. I think someone could have some fun with that. I like that chain. All right, some cute bangles. Here's a plastic black one. This one is out of this world, really big. Wow, this is this cannot be a bangle, look at that. Well, it could be. Some people have trouble with bangles. Gosh, okay, let's look at how big this one is. This one's a good size, it doesn't fall. This is so strange. This is big. It's really cute, though. I should try to sell those extra large bangles because I know people have a hard time finding bangles that fit. This one looks big, too. Ankle bangle. <laughs> this one's big, too. Look at this one. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, gosh. That is so funny. That's probably why they give them away. They can't find anybody that would buy them because they're so big. This one's a nice one. <laughs> a drag bangle. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, this is nice. Purple. It's on a stretch, though. I don't like stretch, for especially for the neck. I feel like they would really pop one day. That'd be a mess. So that'll be in a bead lot. A kid's bangle that's bent up. Hey, Nora A. Nora's the one that won my giveaway the other night, right, Nora? That's going out tomorrow. I just didn't get a chance to do it today. I was running around all over Houston today. But congratulations. <laughs> This is cute. I love these chains. They're so pretty. But it's a tangle. 
So let me untangle it. How's the lighting? I think I still need more lighting. I think I had, did I have another lamp? Yeah, I think I had another little lamp that's still in the other room. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me unhook it here so I can get this knot out of here. There it goes. Okay, this is cute. This is really pretty. Look at that pretty drop. This is like a gray with some, almost looks like crosshairs in there. But that crystal one is gorgeous. Can you guys see that? That's really pretty. Yeah, that's really nice. I love this one. They're both glass or something. I don't think that's a natural stone. I'm sure it's glass. And this one's really an interesting shape, the one on top. It's a cute little drop. It really is pretty. Rutilated quartz. Is that what it is? Okay, see, we learn something every day. Thank you. Rutilated quartz. Wow. It's pretty. I like it. It feels nice and cold. Okay, oh, this is pretty. I think this is pink quartz. I don't know. Maybe the clear one. This is so cute. I love the rosary links. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. What a pretty pink necklace. Do you guys think this is quartz too? The opaque one? What do y'all think? It's so cute and cold. And the little gold links are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. I like the way they played with the opaque and the, and the clear. That one is glass. It's so cute. I gotta wear this one too. Love pink. It's so pretty. Okay, this is cute too and teal. These are plastic and I think these are wood. And look at these. These are like all of those spacers bunched up together, whatever they're called. That's a cute one. It's just got a dangle on it. That's a nice choker piece too. Hi, Lindby. Hi, Belmar. Well, I think they didn't see any inclusions, maybe. Is that how you guys knew it was glass? I know the crystal is usually glass when it doesn't have any cloudiness or anything. But I really thought the opaque ones were, possibly. But then pink quartz doesn't really come in this deep pink, does it? Maybe it does. I don't know. You guys school us. Leave your comments. We always appreciate them. This is a match as well. We did have this match somewhere. So that's nice. Not too many single earrings. I love that. Okay, this is kind of tangle and really interesting. Look at that chain. It looks like dreadlocks or something. The necklace would be heavier. That's true, Debs. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Like that little beaded one, this one right here is heavy. For proportion to size, it's really heavy. So you're right about that. Okay, we got the 10 cans in hearts. They're matched. Very nice. Hi, Leanne. You're up late, too. It's not that late in California, though. You got the luxury of being three hours extra, right? It's late over here in Texas, but we're still up. Well, I am. Okay, we did get a match on the red one. That's a really weird necklace. It looks kind of... I don't know. Game of Thrones, I think, if I had watched it, which I didn't. But everybody in the family did. 
Okay, we did get a match on that one. I watched a little bit of it and then I fell asleep. I tend to fall asleep during sci-fi movies. They're just not my thing or whatever it's called. Fantasy, sci-fi, I don't know. What do you call that genre, guys? Fantasy, right? Oh, this is cute. Oh, look, it's a bracelet with that stone in it. I thought it might be James Avery, but it's got a different... It's got, look at the tangle. Look at the tangle there. Okay, let me work on that while I put this over here. See, I thought the bracelet, this bracelet could be James Avery until I, because I saw this hook and they do a lot of hook on necklaces, but it's got another thing on here. Let me see what it says. Fantasy, <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I wish I could give them a chance, but it's they're just, they don't do it for me. And believe me. I mean, I've fallen asleep during the best of movies. Aliens, I fell asleep right there at the theater. They bore me. I'm sorry. They really do. And my kids and my husband just love them. They love those genres, that genre of flicks and books and all of that. And I just can't do it. And I try, you know, because I want to be part of the water cooler talk. But I just can't do it. This little chain is really cool. What happened to Leanne? Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Leanne. Oh, my gosh. What's her name? Is is she missing from California? Or is that the sister that lives in Hawaii? Oh my goodness, my prayers, for sure. Okay, this one says, oh, I don't know what it says. It's got a really long thing there. Again, don't look at my nails, they're a mess. I don't know what it says. But it looks like silver. The tarnish really looks like silver. I don't know. Maybe not. It's got an extender. Sometimes that's not silver, but sometimes it is. Even with the extender. But that's a pretty necklace. It's got little beads. Okay. And I think I told you we got the match on the two red earrings. We've got a... Interesting bracelet here. Interesting beads, kind of square faux turquoise, I believe. Cute though. Oh, I hope so. These are cool too. I don't know what kind of beads those are, but they're interesting. All right, we found three more little bangles, skinny bangles. I have a whole tub of these skinny bangles. And, oh, these are pretty. These are kind of puka shells knit, knitted into this little, whatever it's called. I guess it's a wrap around. And then, oh, this is cute. This is crystal too, glass. It's got, kind of stud looking beads on it and look at the way it's knit and by knit I just mean like put together it's got interesting bugle beads there wow that's pretty that's a cute bracelet very different I like that I think I think it's pretty cool I think this was a pretty good bag so far. We're not quite finished yet, but this is a cool bracelet. Lots of good pieces in here. We got some gold rope looking hoops. Gold tone, I'm sure. You can see a little wear on there. Cute though. It's a nice addition to the earring lot. And oh, these are those, are these the magnet ones or the hematite? 
What did this have on it? It looked like something was painted on there, but it faded. Maybe it had the religious icons, little Catholic icons that I've seen. This is a heavy, heavy bracelet. Look, it's magnetic though. <laughs> Sticking to each other. How funny. That is too funny. Okay, another piece of silver. This is probably the piece of that bracelet, that, that necklace that we found in the beginning. That was sterling that I said I was gonna scrap. Let me see, Peggy is from Australia. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so. Tonight, I do a lot of jewelry hauls, jewelry and jarrings and all of that. I also do ride-alongs. I've been doing a lot of live streaming as well out on the road, so I hope to do more of that in the summer. Take you with me to some garage sales and thrift stores and all of that. Here's another little plastic bangle. Here is a another one of these... I call them hippie bracelets. This one's kind of worn. Seen better days for sure. And hmm, these are cute. Bead earrings, black. We did find a match to this long dangle one. So there are two of these. These really clean up nice, guys. If you put these in some Dawn, they really clean up nice. We did get the match on this gold one as well. Yeah, you need to do that, Leanne. You need to do that no, because stressing yourself out is just making it worse for you. You know, it's not, it's not easy, but sometimes you just have to compartmentalize things and let it go for a little bit and see these guys. Those were pretty. Did I have the other one? I thought I did, but now I don't know where I left it. Those are really cute. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, no, I was thinking of the chain ones, look. Got some exotic earrings in this bag. But these are cute, really pretty earrings. I like that, that's a pretty link on there. They look very, very exotic. And they're light. These are kind of heavy with the chains. But these are nice and light. Those are cute. Let me see. These are cute. These are really cool. This one's a little crooked. I had to straighten it up. But they're cute too. I'm going to put those in my earring lot. And this is a leather, really worn, but I like the crystal beads. They are crystal or glass, so I'll put that in a bead lot because those are cute to have. And there was two bracelets. Okay, it's three bracelets that all kind of coordinate there. Here's another awesome pair of earrings, y'all. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. Wow, these are so well made. The beads feel awesome. The gold tone on them is amazing still. They are marked, they look like Sarah, but let me see if I can see it. And they're, they're clip-on as well as twist. Oh gosh, let's see if we can read it. I can't read it, I don't have my loop. Can you guys see it? These are so cute. Can you guys read the mark? I can't read it. I don't have my, my loop. But they say something. Really long, too. There it is there. Bob Mackie? No, I don't know. They are so cute. They look a little costumey, yes but they would still look very nice if you didn't have any other jewelry on except maybe rings, but you know, they stand alone. Those are cute. Is that what it said, Joan Rivers? Wow, those are so pretty. The beads feel so nice and the gold tone is so perfect. 
They are so different. Wow. Those are cool. Joan Rivers, huh? Here's a little expandable. This looks kind of Game of Thrones, too. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here's a pink shell that goes with the earrings that don't even match each other. Only in color. But this one's a lot thicker than this one. I guess they just wanted to finish the product and get it out anyway. So that's a little ensemble there, a little match there. Here's a bangle, cute bangle. This feels funny, it feels like resin. Very light, cute print on it too. Hmm. And then here's two red ones. One's really small, the other one's big. Here is an earring. I think it's, I think it's the, oh no, here it is. Here's the match. That's awesome. They put a bunch of matched earrings in this bag. I love when they do that. These are cute too. Look how pretty those are. Pretty colors. Caged beads, aqua, aqua color, some chains. Those are really cute. I think that's the bag, guys. I believe that is all of the bag. It was not bad at all. I think there's some good pieces that can be resold and enjoyed. So I'm happy with it. I'm really glad you joined me. I hope you come back again this week. Probably, well, tomorrow I'm going to do my auction on Facebook. I'll probably do a YouTube video beforehand. I'm going to try to bring you what I found in Chicago. I need to go retrieve two things that I gave to my daughter, two pieces of jewelry that she's wearing. One was a fabulous crystal and the other one is some rose quartz beads, really pretty, so that I can show them to you. So I need to do that. And then 